B Marsh Boxer, what's happening? World 2020 fight. Uh, this is my Happy New Year to everybody, matter of, by the way. So uh, this is my 2020 bitch made fighter of the year. The 2020 most, most bitch made fighter of the year. And the first candidate I have is um, Roly Romero. Okay, Roly Romero got a controversial decision, got a gift decision when he fought the man uh, Marinas Jackson, Dominican undefeated fighter, if I'm not mistaken who came into that fight and really gave this guy, a, a, a Roly Romero, a boxing lesson. Boxing lesson. Now, it's one thing to get a gift decision. A, a fighter has no control over that. But the arrogant way of how he was going about getting that dubious decision, you know, being very, um, you know, very, you know, arrogant about it and acting like he definitely won and there's not, nothing nobody could tell him. And not only that, man, the guy didn't even give Marinas a rematch. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to go back down that path of fighting Marinas Jackson. If he really felt that he beat him in the first and they won an only fight, then give that man a rematch because Roly Romero did not win that fight. So he's definitely a candidate for the most bitch-made fighter of the year. Second most bitch-made fighter of the year, I got to give it to Deontay Wilder. You know, none other than Deontay Wilder. You know, Deontay Wilder had every excuse in the book on why he lost to the man um, uh, Tyson Fury in the rematch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there's numerous, too many excuses, whether it was uh, the the costume he wore that day uh, on, the, on the night of the fight, whether it was talking about the man had egg weights in his... Um, in his gloves, it was just a whole lot, you know, how he threw Mark Breland, great Hall of, not a Hall of Famer, but a great fighter in his day, you know what I mean? Not great, okay, let me take that back. Very good fighter, you know, could have been great, was a great amateur, that's what he was, you know what I mean? Two-time welterweight champion, you know, nothing to sneeze at, but, you know, could have been a greater boxer as far as in the pros, but at the end of the day, Mark Breland, I don't think, had anything to do to try to sabotage Deontay Wilder. As a matter of fact, I thought he's the only one who did right by saving his life by stopping that fight. But Deontay Wilder had too many excuses. To me, he's disrespecting people like Mark Breland. And he just hasn't he's hasn't exercised his demons. You know, Tyson Fury's still in his head, and it has made Deontay Wilder do some dubious things all throughout this process of trying to get the third fight, you know what I mean? I'm not even going to talk about the, what he was doing as far as twerking on July 4th of 2020. And Deontay Wilder, you know, got to get the bitch made, be a candidate for bitch made fighter of the year for 2020. My last candidate that I have for the most bitch made fighter for 2020, I got to give it up to the man, uh, Vasil Lomachenko, you know? Vasil Lomachenko lost all his titles in one night to the man Teofimo Lopez, took him to school. Teofimo gave him a boxing lesson, almost stopped him in the 12th round. And one thing for sure, two things for certain, Lomachenko had excuses the very night that he lost the fight. He said he won the fight. The next day he was talking about his his um, shoulder. He tore his shoulder in, 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 uh, in sparring before the fight. A whole lot of excuses. But the worst that, that I heard from him was talking about that the judges were paid off and they were bribed and the fight was rigged and he really wanted to fight. You know, the, uh, Lomachenko showed that he's a very sore loser, you know what I mean? So he definitely is a candidate for 2020 most bitch-made fighter of the year. So who do I give the award to? The award goes to two people. This is going to be the first time in B-Marsh Boxing somebody gets the bitch-made award. It's going to be two people, just like two, 1994 NBA Rookie of the Year, or was it also the year 99? 2000 Rookie of the Year when Steve Francis and Elton Brand shared it. Same goes with 90, 94 Rookie of the Year, 94-95 Rookie of the Year when Grant Hill and Jason Kidd shared the honors of being Rookie of the Year. Deontay Wilder and Vasil Lomachenko get my 2020 Most Bitch Made Fighter of the Year. Be Marsh Boxing, let me know in the comment section who do you think is the most bitch made fighter and the most biggest pussy of 2020. Be Marsh Boxing, I'll catch you on the next one. I'm gone. Peace.